G'day, Robert here, and I'm here to show you today some features of your EcoHeat Flexi Power Induction Cooker. Once you've connected your power, you'll have a steady red light on your induction cooker. We hit the on button, the unit is now on standby, and the red light will flash. And using the W button, I can select my wattage. I hit wattage and it's factory preset to 2000 watts. I can lower the wattage down to 500 watts and increase the wattage using the plus and minus icons. So when I turn the unit on, it's on 2000 watts, which is ideal for home, for caravan park. Uh, I can flick down to 1500 watts, which is good for your 2 kVA generator down to 1000 watts which is good for a 1 kVA generator and down to 500 watts which is good for a solar with a pure sign inverter off a battery pack. Once I've selected my wattage I then hit the temperature icon and then I can select my cooking mode and temperature. Automatically comes on to fry oil, warm, simmer, how the temperature changes, and stew, and then manually increase. I scroll through the different modes, notice how the temperature also changes. I can manually increase to 240 degrees. or decrease to 60 degrees in any of the preset functions. Other features of EcoHeat is a timer. So if I depress the timer for three seconds, it'll come on and then I can select seconds and minutes. An induction cooker is three times quicker than an electric cooktop and twice as quick as a gas cooker. Induction cooking is instantaneous as soon as I switch the power off. It stops cooking and it's safe to touch. I also have a barbecue setting on my EcoHeat. The only one on the market where I can actually use a barbecue plate on my EcoHeat. Now, for your induction cooker at home, do not use a barbecue plate on your induction cooker. You will damage your induction cooker. The EcoHeat is designed to use a barbecue plate. So you must use the barbecue setting because what happens there is a two speed oscillating fan inside the unit and because of the heat radiating back into the unit you need to switch it to barbecue mode which increases the speed of the oscillating fan which enables to cool the unit down. Now you must be very careful also that you don't close in the, the vents on either side of the unit because it needs to have a lot of ventilation there to expel that hot heat. Another feature on the eco heat is the child lock. So once I depress the child lock button, none of the keys can be used, so therefore it becomes very friendly so kids can't play with all the, the keys. To unlock it, again I just press the button for three seconds and it'll unlock the unit. Not all cookware is induction friendly. An easy guide to checking the compatibility of your cookware at home is included in our instruction guide. However, a general rule of the thumb is that all cast iron, 60% of stainless steel pots and pans, are induction friendly. Aluminium, copper and in vitro glass is not. During the manufacturing process, ferrous material is added to stainless steel to help give the product weight. So therefore, 60% of stainless steel can be used for induction cookers. An easy way to check if your pots and pans are induction friendly, if you use a fridge magnet to touch the bottom of the pan, and if the magnet sticks to the bottom of the pan, it's induction friendly. Also, if you place a non-induction friendly pot or pan on the EcoHeat, error code E0 will come up, and you know that the pot is not user friendly. Even though some pots are induction friendly, depending on the thickness of the base 
you, I would advise not to use them on induction cookers. Being a very thin base, they can buckle and warp and your food will burn. At 500 watts, you can use a solar inverter. Now be very careful, you will need a pure sine wave inverter to work the cooker. Modified inverters will not drive the cooker. It must be pure sine wave, no exceptions. We can recommend Ravco Inverter Specialist. Ravco is a very reliable company, very cost competitive and experienced in the use of eco heat and inverters. So contact them for more technical information. Keeping your eco heat clean is very simple. Just use Windex and a soft cloth to spray the Windex on top of your unit and give it a wipe over and then put it back in its carry bag. Remember, do not use any abrasive product like Jif, it will scratch the surface. Handy hint for the stubborn stains, use eucalyptus oil and a soft cloth. It's much better getting stains off than standard cleaners. Your Eco Heat comes with a specially designed padded bag and whilst your Eco Heat is a very durable product, when travelling, always store your Eco Heat in the specially designed travel bag. Well folks, I hope we gave you some insight into your Eco Heat and we like to wish you many, many years of happy cooking at home and out on the road. Thank you.